Dear students, welcome to an exciting session on sequence and series. In this session, we are going to see some definitions of series and we are going to learn what is mean by a convergent series and a divergent series. Let us go into the session. Let un be a sequence of real numbers. Do you remember students what is sequence? The basic things you have learned in your school. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. It is an infinite sequence of natural numbers. It goes up to infinity because it has certain rule. You can see the difference here is 1. So, if I say 6, I can tell the next number 7. Similarly, you take set of all even numbers. This is also a sequence. Suppose I am taking 1, 0, minus 35, 488, 563, minus 7, 5, minus 25. This is not a sequence. This is not following a, any rule. It is some random number. Hope you understand. So, I am taking a sequence of real numbers like u1, u2, u3, etc. And I am going to add all these things up to infinity, then it is called as infinite series. It is denoted by summation n equal to 1 to infinity un or we simply take summation un. Here un is called the nth term of the given series. Hope you understand. Next, what is mean by a convergent series? Now you take u1, u2, u3, etc be an infinite series, I am going to take a partial sum. People say it as nth partial sum. I am going to add the sequence up to n terms. Now, this sequence of partial sum, if it is converging to a number L, then we say the series converges to this value and it can be written as summation n equal to 1 to infinity u n is equal to n. Then L is called as sum of the series. Next, you take the sequence of partial sum Sn. If it going to be diverges, then the summation n equal to 1 to infinity un is also diverging. If limit n tends to infinity, Sn is plus infinity, then I will say summation n equal to 1 to infinity un diverges to infinity. If this Sn is going to be minus infinity, then I will say summation n equal to 1 to infinity un diverges to minus infinity. When we solve the problem, we can understand more. Before going to the limit comparison test, I will tell some very basics since many non max students are watching the video. We know 1 by infinity is 0, 1 by 0 is infinity. Now, suppose you have a sequence like 1, 2, 3, etc. up to infinity. If I say what is the nth term, immediately you will tell n is the nth term. But if you have a sequence like this, 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. up to infinity. If I ask what is the nth term, some students will tell, most of them will do error. Now, just remember the classical formula which we used in our school days, AP, arithmetic progression. How to find the nth term? A plus n minus 1 into D. What is A? A is the first term and D is the difference between any consecutive terms. Okay, let us see how to find the nth term. Suppose I am taking the same sequence 1, 3, 5 etc up to infinity. Now here a is 1. The difference between any two consecutive terms, you can take anything 1, 3 or 3, 5 or 5, 7 the next one, you will be getting d equal to 2. Therefore my tn is going to be 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. So 1 plus 2n minus 2 that is going to be 2n minus 2. 1. So, this is the nth term. So, I will say un is equal to 2n minus 1. Hope you understand students. So, this basic is needed to solve the problem. And the next one, we need one result. Summation 1 by n power p converges if p greater than 1. This is very basic simple result. We can use in MCQs and also we can use this in problem solving sessions as a part of the solution of the given problem. So, now I give some example. You take 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 3 etc up to infinity. Now, we don't know whether the series is converging or diverging. So, we take summation un is equal to this. What is the nth term? It is going to be obvious un is 1 by n. Now, summation un is going to be summation 1 by n. If you know this result, just like that you can crack the problem. Summation 1 by n power p converges if p greater than 1. See here, it is 1 by n. My 
p value is going to be 1 so it is not greater than 1 so immediately i will say this series is diverging series hope you understand now in the similar way if i take one more problem 1 plus 1 by 2 square 1 by 3 square 1 by 4 square etc up to infinity then summation un is going to be this i can easily found my nth term is 1 by n square so summation un is equal to summation 1 by n square very good now you see the p value here p is equal to 2 because we have n square in the denominator so just using this result i can say this series is a converging series hope you understand student next before going into the problems we have to learn some properties of the series the convergence or divergence of infinite series is unaffected by addition or removal of the finite number of terms for example just now we say the series summation un 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 etc is diverging now if i delete two terms from this finite number of terms i am taking first two terms and if i write the new series is 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 etc up to infinity will also be diverging so deletion or simply addition of finite number of terms in the infinite series will not affect the convergence or divergence and similarly, the convergence or divergence of infinite series is unaffected when I multiply each term of series by a non-zero number. I will multiply with a number A provided A is not equal to 0. Now also, the convergence or divergence of the series is unaffected. Hope you understand. Next, we are going to learn one more basic. Suppose we have a nth term, for example, n plus 1 divided by 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3. Most of the cases I am going to apply limit n tends to infinity. So, if I have n then the problem will go to infinity. Suppose I make the problem such that I will take n outside and cancel. If I bring into 1 by n, even I put infinity, it will become 1 by infinity that is 0. So, now I will take n outside from this problem. We will be getting, we'll be getting n into 1 plus 1 by n now here if i take n outside 2 minus 1 by n n into 2 plus 1 by n then n into 2 plus 3 by n and we try to cancel some n now see this term all these three terms will not be affected when i suppose apply infinity why this 2 minus 1 by n when i apply infinity it will become 2 minus 1 by infinity that is simply 2 minus 0 and Two. this is finite okay only these green terms are going to trouble me because because here i cannot do anything with this n when you apply infinity it will become one by infinity because the n is in the denominator hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye